The administration is proud to be working with the governors on rebuilding our nation's infrastructure, reforming our health care system, and putting Americans back to work. I know that Obamacare in particular was put into place without a lot of input from governors. We're committed to consulting and including them on this and so many other subjects as we solve the nation's biggest issues together. Later this morning, the President had a listening session with some of our country's leading health care insurance companies. Interestingly, on yesterday's ABC This Week, Minority Leader Pelosi actually laid out a great outline of how to judge Obamacare's success based on what it was supposed to achieve. She said, quote, it had three goals, one, to lower the cost, the other, to expand benefits, and the third, to in improve and increase access. So let's go through her criteria. Lowering costs. Well, this year, all four tiers of Obamacare insurance plans are facing double-digit increases in average premiums. Just to take a look at one set of premiums uh, for standard silver plans in the states, 63% increase in Tennessee, 69% increase in Oklahoma, and a staggering 116% increase in Arizona. On expanding benefits, in reality, the new law's mandates have led to mass cancellations of coverage, soaring out-of-pocket costs, and declining enrollment figures. Millions are choosing to pay a tax over buying the government-mandated insurance. Increased access. With insurance fleeing the marketplace, Americans are facing a dwindling number of insurance choices, with 17 percent of Americans left with only one insurer option available in their exchange. Insurers will be indispensable partners in the transition period out of Obamacare into the patient's first plan the President will be working with Congress to put in its place. The President's plan will encourage innovation, modernize our health care system, and provide immediate relief and ensure access to quality, truly affordable care.